Hey all my adventurers, welcome back and as the title suggests, this is things to do in Ultraria's part 1 and since it's a part 1, you know I'm coming with a part 2 which simply means you have to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss part 2 however in part 1, I'll be telling you about horseback riding, maple tubing, different waterfalls, dolphin cove, duns river, jet skis, you know, all of that good stuff, zip lining as well, cause you know I know you guys are planning that trip to Jamaica and I'm gonna give you all the information that you need so you guys need to get a pen and a paper and start making your list for some other stuff that you want to do all right and the first thing that I'm gonna start with is horseback riding now even though this is things to do in ultra race Jamaica I will say that this is actually in St. Anne's Bay which is at 10-15 minutes away from ultra race, right and also guys before I go any further all of these excursions that I'll be showing you today all of these different activities or activities that I've done myself or I've brought my guest to do these activities um, for those who don't know I do have a tour company so I provide transportation to these excursions I book these excursions as well and if it is that you're interested in any one of the excursions that you're gonna see today then just be sure to send me an email head over to my website so you can book the different excursions and so on and so forth now the horseback riding right anytime anybody reach out to me they always want to do horseback riding on the beach you know so right here here, as I mentioned before in St. Anne's Bay, Michael horseback riding, you know, you're going to go a little bit through some of the bush first and then eventually we're going to make our way onto the beach. It's a very nice tour, right? Um, it's To me, it's one of the top things that a lot of people tend to ask me or say that they're interested in. I know some people are afraid of horses and that's fine, you know, there's plenty other stuff to do. Um, the horseback riding is $65 per person. Um, USD for um, tourists and then for locals it's five thousand dollars per person Now to answer some of the common questions that I get asked right is there a weight limit now? These are some local guys that just register their business. So I'm supporting them. It's not Chukka. Chukka has a weight limit of note Chukka does use part of this beach as well But this is not Chukka. This is a little guys tour Michael horseback riding which is in St. Anne's Bay they don't have any weight limit per se, right? So I know a lot of people always be like, you know, um, because of my weight, I feel like I'm going to be restricted from doing a lot of different activities, so on and so forth. However, if you come here and you're on the heavier side, we're just going to find one of the stronger horses. These horses are former racetrack horses, so they're very strong. So if you have a, you know, if a particular size or particular weight, you don't really need to worry. As you can see, we've made it onto the beach, and I must tell you that horseback riding on this beach is so peaceful. You just hear the waves crashing in and out of the water. Yeah, it's very, 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 very nice, right? Another thing that I want to comment on is that, you know, some persons are skeptical about doing the horseback riding on the beach because you know well you know the horses might you know go to the bathroom while they're in the water and these are animals these aren't pets they aren't trained if they want to go they're gonna go so if it is that you don't want your foot to touch the water you can just tell the guide because there will be a guide with you like listen i prefer not to go in the water or i don't want my foot touching the water or whatever it is i mean you know if they pass you I mean nobody wants to be on a horse and the horse in front of them is passing feces while they're you know riding through the water but you know that can be the reality of the situation and you see me i'm very straightforward i'm always going to give you everything as it is so again if you don't want to go in the water you don't have to go in the water but this is not much different than if you were supposed to go to the bahamas and swim with the pigs you know they're animals they're gonna handle their business but these are my clients right here. They're in the water. They're having a beautiful time. This is something that they've always wanted to do. You know, it's their anniversary. And, you know, they reached out to me. They said that, listen, we wanted to do the horseback riding, so on and so forth. And I said, no worries. Whatever it is that you want to do, you let me know. I'll put together the itinerary with the cost for transportation and the excursions. And we'll move from there. So, First thing on my list that I spoke about is horseback riding. And if this is something that you want to do or you wish to do, again, like I said, I have a tour company. I do bookings. I provide transportation. I do airport pickup and all of that. So you can just reach out. Head over to my website and reach out. 
and we can get it done again i'm just gonna let you guys hear the sounds of the wave while they crash along the shore okay next on the list is dolphin cove now there's two dolphin coves in jamaica there's one which is in ocherius which is this one right here and there's one which is in sandy bay right so i'm going to be talking about the one in ocherius as you enter you see this little measurement thing right here for kids so this is one of those activities that children can do you guys can pause it and read um it's basically telling you the height for the kids that they will allow to do which package that they have so the different packages packages that they have include an encounter where you pet and play the dog with the dolphin the other one there's one where you can swim with one dolphin and then there's the other where you can swim with two dolphins some packages come with lunch some don't come with lunch you know so on and so forth these are my clients right they wanted to do dolphin cove i've done dolphin cove before a good while now and Dolphin Cove is just one of those things that you do at least once. You get me? So as you can see, you enter, there's a lot of stairs. What I never show is where you would go and pay for the excursion. Normally when I have my clients, I book ahead and get confirmation number, pay for it and all of that. So when they come, there's no hiccups. They have at least three different times, but that varies as well. So there's usually the first one, which is like 1030. Then there's a like 1145 and there's a 1230 um time as well now they close at 2 p.m i believe or 2 30. so this is one of the pool areas where the activities will be done right i just went around and i saw the dolphins they were so cute look at him or her i don't even know so very adorable so very friendly you know really really cute but yeah like i was saying there are different packages right so there's a dolphin encounter there is the swim with one dolphin and then there's a swim with two dolphin and of note at dolphin cove you're not allowed to go into the water with your gopro or take any pictures or anything like that that's because they offer those all right so this obviously is swimming with two dolphins right here right so and they, they do the different types this again is another swim with two dolphins um i believe this is swimming with one dolphin where they do the paddleboard um and then there's one where the dolphin lays on his back and you hold on the onto the fins and it brings you across and then i feel like the pet and play and the encounter with the dolphin is pretty much self-explanatory i as i mentioned before i haven't done this in a good while now but i've done it before and it's something to do at least once the dolphins are really nice they do all of these little tricks out here you know so cute listen these dolphins work super super hard to get their fish you see them right here kissing as soon as they were done they gave them the food off no this one is a sandy bay one um, i'm gonna show you guys the rest of the property as well so there's a pool there's a jacuzzi different places you can go and eat um there's also another area where they will do the activities as well and i'm going to show it to you um what i wanted to mention that i didn't mention before is that for locals the royal swim package as is a swimming with two dolphins is twelve thousand six hundred dollars at the moment and guys that's jamaican dollars right that's that's why it's a local price because it's jamaican dollars because sometimes when i be talking about these twelve thousand and eleven thousand y'all really think i'm talking usd no this is for the locals right and the swimming with one dolphin it's eleven thousand jamaican dollars right so now back to me showing you guys the rest of the property um as i mentioned before some of the packages come with lunch so more or less this is where you would be um the lunch area wasn't open as yet when i book the packages for my clients i always try and book it for 10 30 which is the earliest ones that they have you know just to get it out of the way um this is the other area where the other dolphins are sometimes they'll put you guys down here listen i think there was a little bit of a lover, lover's quarrel that was happening or maybe this is how the dolphins play i don't know but i was just observing them um so back to the different time i normally try for 10 30 there's a level 45 option and then 12 30 now what i will say other day i had some other clients and i brought them for the 11 30 option level 45 sorry and instead of doing a level 45 they had pushed them back to 12 30 and when they did it they never they weren't too pleased they felt as if though it was rushed you know they had a lot of people down there for the 12 30 time and it was just that they skipped over the level 45 and just did one big group and it was kind of too rushed um to their liking so the earlier the better so i would recommend 10 30 
um, just to avoid stuff like that because they do have walking that they allow to just come and book once there's space available another thing they will have their photo package which is hundred and forty dollars extra than what you pay and you know you get to get the pictures done because like I said you can't take any pictures while you're out there and these are some photos from my clients that have done the packages before and these pictures are really really nice so if you want to do the photos it's hundred and forty dollars extra and you get your money's worth for your little photo session right now for the rest of the property there is a little makeshift beach um so you know some some people might not want to participate in the activities but they're there with their family so you can come around here and you can just relax and lounge around There's also a little area i guess somewhat of a mini zoo right where they have all of these birds um so i think these are macaws yeah i believe so you know these the parts you know blue and yellow as well as the red and orange ones and then there was a I believe it's a black African part. I believe. Don't quote me, guys. But yeah, this is a guy right here. Oh, look at him. So cute. Yeah, so they have some parts. So it's not just the dolphin era. So if you want, you know, if you like the birds, you can bring the kids around, take some pictures with them as well. You know, go around there. You know, might as well get the money's worth, right? But for me, for me personally, me, Amanda's 876 Adventures. The best part around me coming to Dolphin Cove was this is a guy right here. His name is Charlie. And this is an iguana that is actually indigenous to Jamaica. It was found right there in the hills in Ocho Rios. And, you know, they've been taking care of him. Apparently, he's a boy. I believe he's 10 years old. They bring him to the vet. And I think that's what the vet said. Oh, look, I listen. Honestly, holding it, you think that, oh, maybe it's going to feel scaly or slimy, but it didn't. You know, I just wanted to hold him like a little baby, like I would keep him as a pet for myself. It was so nice. And I know a lot of you guys are creeped out. Some people are creeped out by a lizard. I probably should have done a little warning prayer to this little clip right here, but no need to be afraid, guys. Charlie's super, super kind. Look at him. Uh, this is the best part of Dolphin Co. for me. If I'm being very honest, is this little guy right here. Anytime I go down, if I'm allowed around, because sometimes they don't allow the drivers or the tour guys to go around, I'll come around there and I say hi to Charlie. So when you guys go, go and say hi to Charlie. He's only at the Ocherius one, because like I mentioned before, there's another Dolphin Cove in Sandy Bay, which is closer to Montego Bay. And no, guys, Sandy Bay is not in Montego Bay, but it is rather close to Montego Bay right as i mentioned there are some other animals as well like a little petting zoo so they have some rabbits you know listen these rabbits were well fed if you ask me so cute so adorable so you know this is a nice spot for the kids as well to come out and they can pet all of the different animals they can see the different animals take pictures with all of them you know so it's really nice so this is pretty much dolphin cove Ocho Rios and that's another one if you guys want to add it to the list you can add it to your list all right Dolphin Cove okay number three White River rafting in Ocho Rios I always recommend rafting to all of my clients these are the rafts right here At this particular spot they just have them out on the water right so I always say it doesn't matter the age group whether it's a baby you know a toddler adolescent adult geriatric i think rafting is so nice so peaceful and it's as i mentioned before for all age group now what i will say this particular spot right at the moment is actually closed down and i'm doing this recording may 2023 it might be back up and running you know in the future of course um there was an incident that took place maybe some of you guys saw it on social media because i even had some of my older clients who were sending me the video and they were just like was this the place that i brought that we went rafting i was just like oh no that's a different spot also guys there's multiple places in jamaica that does rafting but this spot in particular had a lot of guys that were there and there there was a little quarrel that happened and it got physical and you know some of these men they don't know how to act in a professional setting and as also not all of them are certified but the place is beautiful you know you can do some bird watching this particular bird right here when i saw it at the time i didn't know what it was but afterwards i realized it was an american bittern is this guy was just chilling um but yeah back to what i was saying so currently it's closed but 
they're working to op reopen as i mentioned not all of the guys were certified rafters or raft captain however the guy that i bring my clients to which is the same guy right here his name is sean he's certified but all in all rafting is definitely one of those things you should put on your list it's done in Ocherius, as you can see it's also in montego bay you can do it in trelawney as well i know a lot of people know more about martha bray rafting which is in trelawney and it's also available in portland right so definitely something you should put on your list right now it's 70 dollars per person and this includes the limestone foot massage and a lot of people love the limestone foot massage not everywhere does it some places do some places don't for locals it's ten thousand dollars per raft and that's jmd yeah and this is sean guys this is the raft captain you know he does a good job he's always full of vibes also with the rafting so at this spot it's more vibes in like nine out of ten times the rafts are gonna have music on it you know you will get your limestone foot massage if it is that you want a full body massage and i know a lot of the younger um females tend to go for the full body massage you know that's gonna be more money right so yeah you can get your massage done and so forth also the rafting here it's a bit short so compared to all of the other places that have done rafting it's on the shorter side they also have the swing right so you can hop off and come over here and swing i love this swing anytime i'm there i go on this swing this swing is very very fun if you want to jump off into the water you can i won't necessarily recommend that you guys jump into the water because the water right there is a bit shallow um these you can see that the river is being utilized not only by us by some other person as well so they're actually doing river tubing sometimes persons reach out to me and they say they want to do the tubing i'll be like is it river tubing or is it maple tubing i'm gonna touch on the maple tubing a little later down in the vlog but this river tubing is done at calypso rafting and i'm gonna talk about that place next so we'll get there um but yeah all in all very nice very chill that's a sorrel bear right there guys definitely check it out when you come to jamaica that's one of my favorite bears it's red stripe but it's flavored bear and it's sorrel flavored bear um but yeah this is pretty much what the experience is like when you do the white river rafting down in ocherius and down here some clients they want to act as if they're the raft captain and some of them they will allow them to do it although when it reopens i don't know if they're gonna continue with that but we will see and the thing and the beauty with this particular river uh, this part of the river is that it this is this is where the estuary is and an estuary is where the river meets the sea so right here at the end is where you see the beach and um so not all of the captains come this far but when i have my clients i usually tell them to come down this side so that the clients can see the beach you know and in general if you're a local just tell them listen can bring me down to the, the beach so you know i can see the beach and so on and so forth mind you guys a little further over is that's a nude beach so yeah mm-hmm okay so the next rafting option is calypso rafting and tubing so the tubes that you guys saw where they were doing the river tubing it's here so calypso rafting it's very close to white river rafting um white river actually uses the lower end of this river and they kind of use the top end might sound a bit confusing to you guys but that's the best i can do in terms of explaining it calypso river rafting now several things are different they don't really have the umbrellas on the raft the rafts aren't really decorated and a lot of people want the decorated rafts they don't do the limestone foot massage and they might not have music on their raft but it just makes it more peaceful i'm telling you it is so peaceful this this rafting experience it's longer the price is the same the only thing with here is that one you have to make an appointment which you know for some people you can't be bothered with waiting you just want to up and go that's one of my clients she was a solo traveler so hence i'm on the raft with her um again i pick up all of the solo travelers out there if you no need for you to be afraid to come to jamaica on your own you can hit me up or even if you don't just you know take that leap anywho rafting along this river you see some of the different houses in the community and so on and so forth now what i was saying the difference with here versus the last one i just show you is that this is longer so i like the fact that it's longer 
I even had some of my other clients were there as well and they fell asleep. <laughs> they fell asleep on the raft. You know, they, it's it's that long ago that they'd even do a little pit stop where if you want to stop and buy some drinks along the way or if you want to, you know, jump off into the water or use the bathroom, then you can do that, right? This is the area where you would jump off. So while the White River rafting, they have the swing right here has a little area where you can jump into the water if you wish right so they do a little pit stop and the other difference is that with white river rafting when you go and you pull up you see all of the rafts in the water which i show you guys however here let me way listen when you stop off of the raft they load up the rafts in the trucks and bring them back to the top and i'm telling you the way that they bring down the rafts i'm just like i don't know how these rafts don't mash up quicker than they normally do because like the whole this is it right here it's just so wild to me but that's how they get the rafts in the water which is why the rafts aren't decorated guys you know so sometimes you'd be like oh you know wanted the decorated rafts and so on and so forth but nah um so right here is actually where the initial rafting place that i show you this is where they stop so if you look good you see the tire swing um which is right around the corner right here so like i was saying it's all connected so that's a tire swing right there on the right hand side and as you can see it's not as busy as before because you know like i said it's it's closed down at the moment right so and we go down until we stop. So we, this particular raft, they won't go down to the beach because they stop, they take up the rafts, they load them into the truck, and then they come around. So you guys have options. I don't know about you, but I'm somebody I like options. And at the end right here, you know, as always, guys, support the local. You know, if you want to check out the shop, they have the crochet swimsuits. I really love those crochet swimsuits and so forth. So... You know, this is where the Calypso River rafting in. And, and as I mentioned before, you can do the tube in here as well. So when you guys go, you can ask about it. You can also ask for, for Miss Joan right here. And you guys, you know, support her and, you know, buy some of the souvenirs for her. So that's it. That is Calypso rafting and tubing. Next on the list, I'm giving this one number four, is Mahogany Beach. Mahogany Beach is in Ocherius um jamaica i won't lie the entrance to this beach is a bit weird i wish i did the video um but you can ask anybody around the place if it is that you're driving you know or you know more than likely if you're going to do a tour with a tour company they will know where it is but yeah this is mahogany beach a beautiful spot it's ten dollars per person usd for the entry here and 500 for jamaica and they also have a bar and grill where you can get food you can either sit at the bar if you lounge around it in one of the chairs and get the food you know my clients were they were hungry so we stopped and we got some food before we went to do the excursion so this is right there. i had some fried chicken i think they got jerk chicken as well right now that ten dollars per person that i just mentioned on the five hundred dollars it actually gives you access to the beach chairs as well as the um if you want to sit under one of the cabana it's fine like you know you don't have to pay extra for the beach chairs or the cabanas um which i think is good because some you go to some places you have to pay an entry fee and then you have to pay for chair and umbrella like doctor's cave beach but that's not the case here and the excursions that we're doing here it is jet ski as well as Mabel tubing, right? So this is the jet ski right here. So the cost, um, it's ninety dollars per person, and then a hundred and twenty if two persons share the bike, right? So oh guys, I wish I, mm, I never double check the local price, um, so I don't want to quote anything, but yeah, locals can definitely do this as well, and with each one of the anytime you do jet ski you know you have to go out with the guide where they'll show you where to go and where not to go and of course you get a life jacket and then you get you can go out there on your own also of note guys like i said all of these excursions that are done here as you can see i'm here with my clients so i do book in for these excursions and i also provide transportation to these different excursions so if it is that you're interested in these excursions then you know i'll be leaving the link for my website in the bio below and i will also believe in my email address in the bio below 
in the description below <laughs> sorry <laughs> so you can reach out to me all right now let me show you the rest of the property there's this is the cave area you can look up private areas it says vip somebody painted that right there but the view up here is really nice it's really peaceful and the good thing with this beach area um that out besides the little river part right there is that it's shallow so you know you can feel comfortable with the children being out in the water and you can just lounge around you know you won't have to be on edge or anything like that um and the water is really clean nice and all of that also guys remember to like this video share this video if you're planning a trip to jamaica and you're doing it with a group of friends send them this video send them this video if it is that they don't know what to do just tell them to watch this video so they can kind of narrow down the list of the different stuff that they're interested in you know follow me over on instagram my handle is the same amanda's 876 adventures i'm also on tiktok not as active as once upon a time but you know you can hit me up over there as well and yeah i mean don't be a stranger and of course if you're interested in any of these excursions and you want me to be your tour guide you want me to provide transportation for you guys then definitely reach out send me a dm on instagram or just email me using the email in the description below now wondering what this is this is what i call mabel tubing right so i know i'd mentioned earlier about the river tubing and now this right here this is the mabel tubing so when you guys reach out to me you're just like you want to do the tubing i'm just like which one because i have to be sure because one is very chill relaxing you know going down the river and then the other one is just adrenaline rush you know adventure packed you know i love 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 doing this particular activity um of note guys the beach is salt water so there's gonna be a lot of salt going in your eyes but it doesn't matter and see my clients out there I just had to join in and that's me in the middle and I'm gonna tell you if you don't know hold on I ate that you know <laughs> when you go on these stuff you have to hold on they have the different types they have this type and then they have one it's like a coach and then they have the one what's like a dolphin and you sit on top it have all sorts but definitely definitely recommend this is like in my top three things i would suggest you guys do definitely right now the famous dons river falls right so dons river falls is in ocherius jamaica and you know a lot of clients always reach out they want to go to dons river and it's beautiful dons river is very very beautiful it's really a natural waterfall what a lot of people don't know is that again duns river it has an estuary so which means that the river goes out into the beach and in ultras in general you see a lot of places like that where the river goes out into the beach um so this i'm actually making my way down to the beach of note you see numerous notices around the place guys read them so like this one is saying that they don't offer jet skis so if you see any jet skis out here and you get on it and you get any injury Dons river is not responsible so there's a lot of little notice around the place read them one in particular states that you cannot climb the falls if you have any heart condition any knee problem any neck problem if you're pregnant if you have hypertension or diabetes if you climb the falls knowing you have any of these stuff and anything happens Dons river is not responsible so you know them always say oh, if you want anybody to know nothing just put don't know something put it in writing because people don't read <laughs> people really don't read so when you see the notices guys just stop take a two minute and read them right so as you can see we're down by the beach right this is the estuary where the river meets the sea and this is usually a start point for the climb for the waterfalls there's numerous parts where you can enter the waterfall you don't have to come all the way down here to climb the waterfalls normally when you climb the waterfalls as well you tend to do it in these large groups holding hand going up with a guide and they recommend you use a falls guide because obviously the guides know where you guys should step where you should step and so on and so forth however my clients right here they didn't want to use a guide they wanted to do it on their own which is fine i was with them like i would say like 50 percent of the time you know i was at the beginning and somewhere throughout the middle now this is the other entrance which is called whirlpool entrance and apparently if you want to be like in a large group with a falls guide and enter from this particular point you have to book ahead right 
now tips i highly suggest you guys get some water shoes some river shoes because the rocks you know you guys won't get used to them so get some water shoes um as i, can, as I mentioned this is the whirlpool entrance this particular area is what they call the natural water slide and may i tell you the way all the guy them i deal with them <laughs> they just had dip them it reminds me of that sound it goes dip them bed what dip them dip them in the healing stream Dip them, bed wet, dip them, dip them for your bad feelings. You guys might not know that song. That's a Jamaican folklore song. <laughs> Every time I go there and my clients climb the falls, I always stop at that particular area where I know they will be doing the natural water side because they love it. Oh, look at this little cutie pie. Oh, she's so adorable. Ooh, speaking of this cutie pie, so the cost to come into Duns River Park is $25 USD for adults. For children, it is fifteen dollars. However, if you're four and under, I believe it's free. I think it's four. Either four or three. If it's four or three and under, then they don't pay, right? Also, for locals, it's a thousand dollars JMD for adults, but you must bring a Jamaican ID. You must present an ID so that they know that you're a local, right? So this is the main attraction of the falls in terms of this is the main area. Sometimes when people see right here, that's when they, they decide to stop climbing the falls. You know, when it's packed like on this particular day that I went, you see there's three different lines of persons climbing this particular falls right now. And the reason why it's packed like this, I believe it was cruise ship day. Right, so they had three cruises into the harbor and, you know, out by the port. So it was really packed. Those are my clients right there. They've made it all the way to the top. And I must say that once you decide to climb Duns River Fall, you know, you feel you feel accomplished once you've made it through. Like, you go back and you look and you're just like, wow, I did that. I climbed all the way up. You know, that's me. Fully clothed. You know, I was just, like I said, because they were climbing the falls by themselves. I was just close by keeping an eye, you know, just ensure. Most of the times when I do the tours with my clients, I'm usually close by. Like 70, 75 to 80 percent of the time, I'm usually close by. If I'm not close by, that's because I have some form of work that I have to take care of and so on. But this is them. You know, they made it to the end. They definitely enjoyed it. And, you know, it was a nice day. So, Duns River Falls, that's definitely something I already know it's on a lot of person lists. It's not the only waterfall in Jamaica, but it's probably the most popular waterfall in Jamaica. Also offered here at Duns River Falls is they have the zip lining, which is put together by Chucka. So it's available here. So if you go to Duns River and you want to do the zip lining as well, you can do it. Or if you just want to do the zip line and don't climb the falls, you can do that as well. Because these are some of my clients and that's exactly what they did. They weren't for the falls. They didn't want to climb it. They, you know, they couldn't be bothered with that. They took some pictures in front of the falls. They definitely did. Um, but they didn't climb the falls. So they just we just did the zip lining and then, I mean, took some pictures and that was it. So in addition to the $25, I believe the zip line is $55 extra. And even if you don't climb the falls, you still have to pay the $25 fee to enter into Duns River Falls, right? So, that's another one right there, zip lining. Okay, guys. So, last but by no means least, because as I mentioned before, this is part one, okay? The last place I'm going to be talking about is Blue Hole. Now, Blue Hole, this is it right here. This is the first part of Blue Hole. And this is a waterfall, as you can see. A lot of people always reach out and want to come to Blue Hole. You know, Blue Hole, you can jump off into the water. You can swing off of the rope and stuff like that. You know, so it's really nice. Very beautiful. It's more adventurous. You know, more adrenaline pumping than Duns River Falls is a lot of people come here and sometimes they didn't know that this is what it is in terms of the jumping and the swinging and the, all of that and for me you know that's just naturally what a waterfall is or a river is you know here in Jamaica you're like you're gonna jump off you're gonna swing off you're gonna do something you know so I know the guy was doing some Olympic stuff you don't have to do all of that you just swing off kind of like what he just did right here and what I will say about Blue Hole um, versus Duns River is that as I mentioned before it's more adrenaline you know adventurous and so on versus Duns River which is like you just climb the falls and that's pretty much it you know the chance of you drowning at Duns River is slim because the water is shallow now the chance of you slipping and falling you know might be a little bit higher at Duns River than here and that's why 
when you come to blue hole you guys are gonna wear the life jacket now i know you know i've heard it all before when i ask guests can you swim they'll be like you know i can help myself or they'll say you know i can swim but i haven't done it in a long time you know once i get anything like that just wear the life jacket even if you're an experienced swimmer right still wear the life jacket because what happened is with these rivers you know the currents can, you know current can be strong and then when you jump into the water you know when you break the water good you will go very very deep and sometimes to swim to come back up you know it takes up a lot of energy and all of that as opposed to if you're just wearing a life jacket you now once you jump into the water you pop up you pop back up immediately so you know i always recommend my clients to wear the life jacket so this is second part of blue hole this is the main falls like the main attraction and i'm not sure if you guys can see the little step right there there's also another area where you guys can go and jump off see a little guy there he's gonna go and jump off um into the water i know a lot of people might not want to do this some people just come around here and take the pictures or just watch and observe and so on and that is completely fine if you don't want to jump right now guys that is pretty much it that's pretty much the end of part one right if you've made it this far i thank you please like share comment subscribe turn on post notification as i mentioned before i have a tour company so if it is you're looking to go to any of these places then be sure to send me a email now in part two i'll be coming and i'll be talking about the bob marley museum i'll be talking about mystic mountain i'll be giving you guys some information on green grotto cave some hidden gems as well as atv you know and also you know a, a nice little local spot where if you want to do like a picnic or like a family trip or so forth which is touch hill river um park so guys turn on post notification and i'll see you guys at part two all right